The last interaction of sets that we're going to talk about is something called the complement of a set. And this is a little bit trickier to get a hold of. The idea is this only works if you have a full set. So for instance, let's say that we have that six-sided dice again. Let's call it B. So B is the set. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's suppose that we are playing a game where if you roll a 1, a 3, or a 6, you win. But if you roll a 2, a 4, or a 5, then you lose. So the win could be defined as the set 1, 3, 6. And the loss, if you lose, that could be defined as 2, 4, 5. Now, notice that as we're looking here, these two could together make up the full set. And so if we were to union them, we get the full set. But if we were to intersect them, they wouldn't. But more importantly, notice that only they have nothing in common and that together they make up the set. So if we use the complement, which is a capital C that we put up in the power spot, the complement of W, the complement of something, is everything not found in W, but in the whole set, the complete set, this guy up here, our dice. So W complement is 2, 4, 5, which happens to be the same thing as a loss. And so complementing, you need two things. You need a given set, and you need the full or complete set. So let's suppose for a minute that B again is our complete set. And B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's suppose that A is also given to us and is 1, 2, 3. This means that A complement is equal to 4, 5 because we have the 1, 2, 3, so all we're missing is the 4 and the 5. And that's how we find the complement of a set.